Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 18 of Build a Store in 21 Days. My name is Ala Hassan, and once again, welcome to the challenge. We'll just wait for people to get notified on Facebook that I am live. And in the meantime, I will set myself up. Excellent. Perfect. For those who are joining in right now, please let me know in the comments if you hear me. All is well. Perfect. I'm seeing people join in. Excellent. Hope everyone is doing well today. All right. Almost done setting things up on my side. Perfect. All right. I see Hassan, Fernando. Fernando is new. I haven't seen before log in here. Katrina is right here. Perfect. You guys hear me well? Just let me know in the comments of this video if all is well. Sounds great. Excellent. Thank you, Katrina. Appreciate it. All right. This looks good. I'm all set up. This is going to be an interesting day today because we're finally going into the marketing side of e-commerce. Just a reminder for those who are on the call, this is the challenge is mainly focused around specifically just building out the store, but I decided to add a couple of days additional to the channel, to the challenge, mainly because I wanted to set you up for the right structure when it comes to digital marketing. Because uh, a lot of times I see people, whenever I work with any online store or people in the academy, I notice that things haven't been set up properly. And I want to make sure you're fully set up before you decide to launch the store. So later on, when you decide to go all in on digital marketing, especially when it comes to Facebook, you're all good. So that's the goal here today. Let me just make sure if anyone else. Perfect. Felicitas is here. Excellent. So let's get started. I want to make sure I cover everything that needs to be covered when it comes to Facebook. So again, today's topic is all about setting up Facebook. As always, let's go over a couple of uh, tips that you need to consider when it comes to this phenomenal social media network. So first tip that I have for you, whatever personal feelings you have against Facebook or and even against Google, whoever it is, you simply cannot ignore this massive, massive social network. And again, if for those who don't know, Facebook owns a bunch of uh, the, the most popular social networks, including Instagram, WhatsApp, and they've, they're all integrated properly in virtual reality, AI, and the whole nine yards. They've been acquiring a lot of companies in this space. So you really can't ignore Facebook. Now, when people ask me, well, which social network should I be selling on I, or be visible on? I always say start with Facebook because Facebook owns Instagram. Immediately you have Instagram and Facebook. These are the biggest ones. Now, obviously, you can branch out into other ones like TikTok right now, Snapchat, Pinterest, you name it. Nonetheless, I say, you know what, when it comes to e-commerce, use the ones that offer some sort of paid initiative as well. Don't just start going all over the place. You have Facebook here, Twitter here, Pinterest here. Focus on one specific channel first and then slowly, slowly branch out because you don't want to stretch yourself thin and eventually dilute your efforts because it's a lot of work. So if I was going to get started, especially for what it is that you're trying to accomplish right now, Facebook is a great place to start because it will give you enough tools that you will be able to leverage a lot of this traffic on these social networks and bring them to your website. So we're going to cover a couple of those. The thing that you need to make sure that you do, especially for this challenge, is to build out your presence. I'm not talking about going out there and start posting on your Facebook page. No, it's all about right now focusing on building your brand on that social network. So making sure you have a Facebook page, make sure that everything is branded. Um, you don't want to just create a page and just let it be. At least set it up properly at least include your logo, brand it properly with the right name, making sure that you fill out your about information, your information uh, about the business, the website, the products, and so on and so forth. Even just making sure that you have your website linked inside your Facebook page so people, if they discover you, they can click it and eventually come and visit your website. So these are the things that we're going to need to cover in this challenge to make sure that you're set up and properly branded across 
this network. Now, what are the things that you need when it comes to Facebook? Again, this is not a digital marketing challenge. It's more of just helping you build out. But there are two things that you need to make sure you have set up before you launch and which are the Facebook page, which I just spoke about. And I highly recommend, even if you have no plans on doing it yet in terms of Facebook ads, you're, maybe you don't have a budget yet. Uh, how, you don't have an idea of how much you're going to spend on Facebook ads. Um, you don't have a budget yet. You really didn't even think about it. You don't even know what Facebook ads are. At least make sure that the Facebook pixel is installed. The idea behind the pixel is the following. By installing a pixel on your website, you're going to be able to gather information about your website visitors, communicate it back to Facebook so that you can create better ads. The more Facebook knows about the type of customers, the type of shoppers that shop from you and those the ones that add to cart, the ones that uh, buy certain items, whatever it might be, the better the performance of your ads will become over time. So you want to make sure the Facebook pixel is installed from day one. So as soon as you start sending traffic, it starts learning a little bit more about the type of customer you're trying to reach. And again, in the future, when it comes time to spending money on ads, you'll be like, oh, thank God Allah told me about this and I made sure it's set up. So many times I see stores launching, a lot of people who are just getting started in e-commerce, they would launch the store, get excited, they create a Facebook page, they're very active, they start sending traffic for months and months on end. But unfortunately, they're just doing it through the free tactics. So they would go on their Facebook page, post a couple of things, and then hope that people are going to see it. And then they're going to click on their website and then uh, on their post and then come back to the website. But they're, they forgot to install the pixel. And what's nice about the pixel is you could literally target people that have been to your website in the past 180 days. So it's a powerful thing to have, especially from day one. And I want you to build it out immediately so you don't forget about it. The last thing, the two last things you need to consider is understanding how the reach is going to be limited. Now, back in the day, I remember, I think I created my first Facebook page in 2008. And back then when we created a page and we started posting in it, guess what? Everything we posted, people that are were fans, now it's likes, but people who followed us would see every single post. Back in the day, there were no ads when we started on Facebook. But over time, as the ads platform started becoming more and more popular, Facebook decided to limit the reach of your posts to your audience. So they want you to pay to play now. So again, it's great. You're gonna, you might spend a lot of time on posting things in your Facebook page, but understand that even if you have 100 people liking your page, it's not guaranteed that they will all see your post. Facebook is limiting the reach, so maybe 10%, I've heard 15%, whatever it is, it's going to be so minimal that your efforts are not gonna be producing results if you do everything organically, meaning without paying. So that's why you really need to consider as you launch your online store in the future, you'll need to consider putting some money aside for Facebook ads. And again, that's when you will need the Facebook pixel. So we're gonna cover this today to make sure that Everything is set up for you properly so that in the future, you start getting some results from Facebook. And that's it in terms of theory. We're going to start going in inside the, the store and making sure that everything is set up for you so you're going to be properly uh, exposed on this network. So a couple of things. If you go inside, let me, oh, this whole time I was talking and I didn't even share my screen. This is nice. I usually ask the question, can you guys see my screen? And today is the first day I actually forgot. And well, I think it's the second time, right? So anyways, here's a summary of everything. I want to leave it there for the time being. So again, do not ignore Facebook. Build your, um, your presence on that social network. Consider creating a Facebook page, a Facebook pixel for your ads. Understand that anything you do organically within your page without paying is going to be limited in terms of its reach and you will have to eventually pay to play. So let's go inside the uh, Facebook group. And if I go inside the Facebook group, let's go into the unit section of day 18 right here. I don't know how they recommend all these 
things here on the side, but anyways. So let's go into day 18, set up Facebook. I've added some additional tools in the toolbox that are is included in the course, in, in this challenge. So inside task one right here, click on the tools. And there's a couple of things that you need to consider. So if you go to slide, uh, oops, the next seven days, I think, no, the last seven days. Perfect, right here. So I've slide number 30 in the toolbox. I've included two links today. So one of them is being the Facebook page and a link to help you uh, create a Facebook pixel. So Facebook page, very straightforward. What you do is you're gonna click on this link and there you have it right here. And inside the Facebook page, then you would wanna create a brand. So click here. Let's say I'm gonna call it yoga shop right here. Um, I think there's an e-commerce oh, shopping. Let's say shopping and retail. You can put in the address though. Do you remember yesterday we talked about customer service. So if you have your address, put it in. If you don't, that's fine. Don't show my address for now. Continue. Oh, they're asking now it's required. You know what? Let me see if I can put in some other oh, e-commerce website. That's why I knew so there was something. So yoga shop, e-commerce website. Click continue. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now at this point right here, you need to follow, you can skip this right now. So I highly recommend that when you're building out your store, Everything you've learned in this challenge in terms of you've created your logo, you've created all that stuff, this is where you're going to need it. So make sure you upload your picture profile as your logo. So you don't want to put in your face or that. Don't put your product. Really use your logo as your picture profile so people can immediately associate it with the brand. So that's the first thing. I'm going to skip it for now. Next, you want to add a cover photo right on top. You know, and as soon as you have your profile image, you have a nice cover photo. If you don't have one, so what you do is inside the toolbox, remember that I've included a link to a tool called Canva. So I think it's right here, number 14. So I'm gonna click on Canva. You can go in there in the tool, it's free. And what you do is you type in Facebook, Cover. You can just put in Facebook, for example, and you'll see all sorts of way, uh, templates that you could use. So I'll use, let's say, this Facebook cover. You can select a template that you like. So let's say, um, here, I'll just choose this one. Obviously, use the one that matches your brand colors, fonts, design. So again, if you refer back, I believe, to either day three or day four, we talked about building out your brand, creating a logo. That's where all these things that we've built out so far come in handy. So choose something that you like right here. When you're done, download it as follows. Let's say modify the text, name it. So I would, I would recommend that you would put in there at least a value proposition of what this store is all about. You know, you can put your slogan, but be specific to a certain degree in terms of what is it that you sell. You know, let's say my store is called Yoga Shop and I will write in the corner, eco-friendly yoga equipment. That's it. That would be something that I would put in my cover. I don't want to overdo it because remember, when you build out your cover, you have to think about mobile users. Most Facebook users are using it on a smartphone. So you don't want to put too much text so that in the end, it makes it hard for people to read on a mobile device. So if I go back now to the page oh, right here, I'll upload that cover photo. There we go. And that's it. So technically the cover photo should show if I refresh it, and if you guys have any questions, don't worry, you ask them in the video right here in the bottom. So notice how now the page has my cover photo. I will upload my logo as well. Make sure all that's taken care of. Now, when you create the page, make sure you fill out everything that needs to be filled out. If it's there, make sure you have something. 
in the text, meaning, so let's say you click on the edit page info right here, start filling out everything that you want to be visible on the website, uh, within your Facebook page, your contact information, your location, your hours of operation, um, your about in uh, description, what is it that you sell, link it to your privacy policy, make sure all of that stuff is filled out. You don't want to you know, ignore these things. The more information you put about your business, the higher likelihood that somebody is going to come in, click it and be interested in what it is that you have to offer. They could learn about your business just while staying on Facebook. You, not everyone is going to come visit you. So you want to make sure your company is properly presented inside the social network. Now, there's a couple of things also you may want to consider. One thing is also adding a button. Now, when you create, create a button, I would tell you put something like the shop with you. Put this, shop now, click next, website link. Obviously, when you put in your website link, you'll put it there. I'm going to use the one for the test right now. But you put in your URL. Let me just close a couple of windows because I have too many right now. There you go. Save. And everything is configured. And there you go. So you have that information right here. So now you can see that there is a shop now. One thing you can also do is, and I believe, let me view as someone, uh, view as a page visitor. Right now I'm viewing this page as if I'm the owner, but let me view it as a visitor to the page to see how it's going to look like. If I click like this, there you go. You see everything right here, the pictures right here, e-commerce website, all this information. So you make sure that all of this information is properly filled out. So if anyone comes in and starts looking at the page, they have a sense of what it is that you sell. Couple more things. I go back to the admin view. Let me just make sure. Why isn't it going back? Come on, this is Facebook. Okay, I'm back in it. Perfect. So inside the page, you can also change the layout of some of the things that are visible here. So what you do is you click on edit, uh, sorry, in settings. And what you do is you click on templates and tabs. And there's a couple of templates to choose from. Play around, see which one you like best. I mean, I don't have one that I prefer, um, but again, every business is different. You can use the standard one, which is what we have. There is the business one. There is the venue if you have an event. And in this case, we're not politicians, services, restaurants. We have shopping. So I'm going to use this one. I want to see how it looks like. So it has the tabs. Home, post, photos, shop, offers. I like that. A community even. So let me click. Let's do this one. Now let's look at the page to see how it looks like. All they did really is they've added a couple of other options right here, especially when it comes to shop. Um, you can put some products in the future. You can, you know, so all that stuff is there. That's just one way to customize the look and feel of your Facebook page. Now, obviously there's a lot of stuff here. Again, this is not a Facebook challenge. This is not a Facebook marketing challenge. I'm not gonna teach all that stuff, but right now it's more than enough for you to have at least a presence. Make sure that the page is created, fill out all of the information, make sure it's consistent with what you have on the website, link the website by adding the shop button right, right here. Um, so you send people to the website. You want to make sure that everything is branded. Your logo is part of your profile image. You have a cover right here. Think about mobile no matter what. Um, make sure also if you want to change the look and feel of this, the, the page itself by using different templates. And that's it. That's all you need to do for now and especially to get started. Okay. Any questions about this before we move on now to creating the Facebook pixel? Now, this is the Facebook pixel becomes a little bit more technical. And what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can get into the Facebook pixel from here. Mm -mm -mm. 
yeah, they're not. Uh, so it will create. You can create ads from here after, but you got to create a Facebook pixel. Even Facebook doesn't push for it immediately when you get started. But I want to make sure you have it. Um, just also as, on a side note, you'll notice that when you create your page, you'll have something called Creator Studio, and it's a way for you to manage your uh, website. So uh, I mean your Facebook page. So you can you can manage your Facebook page and your Instagram directly from Creator Studio. You can schedule things. Uh, you can communicate with your clients. I mean, it's a great tool. Um, if you don't want to buy another tool to manage your social media efforts, you could use the one that is native inside uh, Facebook, which is great for you to consider. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here. Perfect. So if I go back now, I don't see any questions about this. I'm going to go back now inside the toolbox. I'm going to show you what you need to do to create a pixel. So, and I'm going to show you also how to install it in your Shopify store. So inside the toolbox, you'll notice you have section uh, slide number 31. Now, I'm not going to click on this link because I'm already logged in and I have a lot of accounts and I just don't want to showcase it. But if you click on this link, I'm going to put it inside. Give me a second. I have an idea. I'm going to put it inside the comments for those who are joining us right here. If you log in into this account, this link, it's business, uh, it's like the business section of Facebook. And the idea within this area is you wanna be able to manage all your ads, your pages, your content and all that stuff through the business manager. But in order for you to create a pixel, you have to go through the business manager, it's free. What you do is the link that I've created inside the toolbox right here, make sure to click it, create an account. When you're done, and if you click the link once again, it will take you directly to this page right here. This is where you're going to be able to create a pixel for your business Facebook account, all right? So what you do is, when you arrive on this page, all you have to do is create some, click on the button called add new data source. Make sure that your account is right here. So when you create your business Facebook account, it will automatically give you an ID, which is your ad ID, for example, for your account. And then on this page, the events manager, so in case you wanna know right here, events manager, that's the link that I've included inside the toolbox. When you click it, click on the add new data source. Again, it's technical, but don't worry about it. You're just making sure you're setting this up so that in the future, when you learn about Facebook ads, it's all ready for you. Click on Facebook Pixel and watch what I'm gonna do here. So you put in your Facebook pixel. So I would tell you, put in your the name of your store. So yoga shop, so you don't get confused. You can put in your website, not necessary, but if you want, put it. So I'm just gonna take whatever I have. Even if it's temporary, don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, you know what, you know what? I'm just gonna not even put it for the time being, okay? And I click on continue. You're going to have this pop-up show up saying, how would you like to add the pixel? Now, because we're using Shopify, there's nothing that needs to be done. We're just going to say closed. I don't need to do anything because all I need to do is you're going to take, you see this code right here, the Facebook, uh, what's it called? It's called pixel ID right here. Okay. I'm going to copy this just by clicking it and it copied it. I'm on a Mac, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work on. Whatever it is, just take this number right here, copy it, and then you go inside your store. And when you go inside your store in the admin section of your store, you click on settings. Sorry, hold on. I know you click on online store, and you click on preferences, I think. Yes, perfect. And then when you come on the preferences section, you go all the way down right here, Facebook Pixel, and you enter, you paste the Facebook Pixel ID that you got from right, your, right here in your business account, okay? You paste it and you save it. That's it. That's all you need to do. What this is going to do now is the following. Let me see if right now, let me visit the store. So at least I activate. Okay, so I visited the store. Let me go to yoga. 
let me look at a product and let me add something to cart. There you go, that's all good. Let me go back to Facebook. It says no activity. Let me refresh. I honestly forgot how long, if it's immediate live or a couple of minutes. It may take up to 20 minutes for it to report. What, but you see right here, oh, last received in the last minute. So it is active. So all is well. Just make sure that it is active. Don't start promoting the, web, the, the Facebook page if it's not active. Refresh a couple of times. And there might again, there might be a delay of some sort. It's fine. But the idea behind this is you're going to start seeing a bunch of events show up on inside your Facebook ad account. Here's the cool thing about this, and I'll just give you a quick uh, a summary of how this is going to be beneficial. You could literally tell Facebook, by the way, can you show my ad to anyone who has visited my website in the last seven days but did not buy something? So that happens. I mean, more than, let's say, 98% of people usually visit a website and they never buy anything. Those who leave the website, you could actually target them and show your ad in case they haven't bought. So to remind them, oh, by the way, this is who we are. We offer a refund policy. We have guarantee, whatever. You can communicate whatever you want. This is possible only if you have the Facebook pixel there. The pixel will track things like what page they looked at. Uh, it will. It, they, it doesn't know who it is. So don't worry. It's not keeping track of your personal information. It simply knows whatever public data is available and how you've interacted with your website. So you could target people based on the pages they visited on your website, when they visited it, from which location, which device, which products they looked at. You can even target people that have added certain items to the cart. You can add also, you can target people who have purchased in the past, let's say 30 days, seven days, 24 hours, you name it. The flexibility and the features available to you later on as you start spending money on ads are incredible. So I was spending approximately one, uh, between one to two million dollars a year on Facebook. And these are for the companies I've worked with. And to a certain point where certain days we were spending 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a day in order for us to get the results we're looking for, we had to make sure the pixel is installed because if the pixel was not installed, Facebook's machine learning, its algorithm does, cannot help you deliver the results you're looking for in terms of sales, you know? So really, to the, you can take your advertising to the next level by just doing what I just told you to do. And again, you want to do this from day one so that you don't miss out on the opportunity of making sure that you tag everyone with the pixel as they start visiting your website. So when you're ready to start advertising, you have good amount. You have a good amount of data that you can use to help you build out all of that uh, those campaigns. So I'm going to check again inside Facebook to see if any data came in. Maybe if not, then we'll just call it no nothing yet. So again, it says up to 20 minutes for data to show. So that's fine. Let me see if there's a test. That's fine. You know what? I could do this. Open your website in the window and interact. So let me see if something happens. Perfect. Let me look at the about page. New arrivals. Click on this. Let's add to cart. Excellent. And then I'm going to close. This is not even okay. So let me go back to Facebook. And you see, boom, right here. So as you can see, it's keeping track of the page views. It's keeping track of how many, um, what's it called? I haven't set up yet the catalog or nothing right now. So, but look at, I looked at an item. It knows the price. It knows everything. And so you know now that it is properly tracking. And that's it for today's session. Um, your task today is, again, very simple, is to create a Facebook page. Oops, I forgot the word here a Facebook page and install your pixel. Make sure to use canva.com if you want to add some nice designs on your cover photo, your logo. Put in a welcome post as well if you want. But again, that's, you could do whatever you want there. Just make sure that it's set up properly and that you have your Facebook pixel installed. Any questions about today's session? Wow, it's 11 people on the video so far. Great to see everyone. Hi, Liz. 
Timia is here, first time I see Simo. How are you? Aya, Liz, Nadir, Nadir, I think. Sunny, what's happening? Oban is here. Oh, he's having internet issues. Samuel, John is here. What's happening, John? Oais, Ali, excellent. So, Felicitas is asking. Um, Allah, again, what if for some reason we feel like we temporarily need to discontinue our Shopify description, like needing to polish or improve our store yet, etc.? Can we anytime reactivate or continue the subscription when we're ready? So if you, you I think right now because of COVID-19, um, uh, Shopify is allowing you to have the trial up to 90 days. Usually it's only 14 days. So we're lucky that you're able to have this opportunity to have it for such a long time. But... If you want to pause it after 90 days, or let's say it goes back to the old ways of 14 days, you won't be able to go in and start modifying things because you will need to launch your store. Um, the only way for you to optimize the look and feel on that, you'll have to pay for a subscription. And I believe it starts at $30 a month from the last time I checked. Um, it, you can pause it, come back to it afterwards and everything. I mean, that's just make sure with Shopify that they should keep everything. So even if you uh, don't cancel the store, but if you pause it, I, I would have to just have you contact them, make sure that they will actually keep everything. Technically, yes. But again, if you want, you can't just have the store sitting there for a very long time and do nothing about it. They don't want that. Uh, you got to make sure you get you start uh, your subscription so that you can get uh, launched immediately. Any other questions about anything we've covered today on Facebook? For those who have joined as well, so again, go inside units, click on day 18 right here. Uh, make sure to follow the tasks. When you're done, click on done. This is the task right here. When you create your Facebook page, make sure that you click on done so you keep track of your progress. Um, also, one thing I want to mention before I get back to the questions, um, I announced on today uh, a contest right here. So let me just put it inside the comments. There you go. Um, one of three prizes. The rules are here right in the bottom. So if you complete the challenge by April 26th, at midnight, okay? And you submit your website in this post right here. I'm gonna make sure I remind you guys, um, you will be eligible to win one of three prizes. It's going to be a draw. Now to qualify, you must submit the URL. You don't have to have the website launched, but I need to get in to see it. Um, I need to make sure that you've completed all the tasks, Facebook even, and setting up all that stuff. And uh, what happens is afterwards, I'll put everybody in, inside a draw. I'm going to pick out three winners, and the prizes are right here. You'll get it. First prize is you're going to get access to two of my courses to help you find a product. Also, create an online store that sells. Uh, the course that I have is a little bit more uh, advanced in terms of not content with regards to how to go about launching an online store. You'll have uh, access to the e-commerce toolbox. There's about 375, a list of 375 tools. And you'll have a 60-minute one-on-one video call with me. Uh, we can talk about everything about your ideas about e-commerce. You can ask me questions, whatever it might be. Second prize, everything as you see in prize one minus the video call. And the third prize, everything you see in the second minus the toolbox. So again, that's been announced. Want to motivate people. Again, uh, the whole point of this here is to get you learning about the new skill. You don't have to launch the business. The contest is even if it's a temporary store, but you've completed every task. I would like to see that and you could win those amazing prizes. Um, let me go back to it again. So Liz is asking, I do not have questions yet because I started setting up my website with Shopify, but what you just shared is really important. Thank you all. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you liked it. Felicia, that's excellent. Great. Fernando, thank you. Thank you for joining. Simo, excellent. Simo's asking, can you give us more time? So uh, it's, I, it's, I'm giving an extra day. So it's literally a month. Um, I want people to really take action. And also the reason why is I'm launching a new program uh, in the academy called Eight Figure E-Commerce. Um, I'm building this up and it's going to be very advanced stuff. And I want to make sure I focus on the other uh, more advanced program. The, the challenge will be there. 
but I really want to make sure people take action because if I give more time, trust me, you're going to delay it. So try to do it and just get it done. Um, we're, again, we're not launching something 100% perfect. Just make sure you've done the tasks and I think you could do it with the amount of time I've allocated. I made sure you have at least two weekends in there. So I was very specific in terms of how I positioned this. So the challenge is going to end this Friday, yeah, this Thursday. You have this weekend and next weekend to work on it. So it's more than enough, I believe, to get you rolling. Again, I want to make sure you get it before May. May, summer is going to come here and you might delay things. So I'm really trying to give you that push. You know, I have to buy a new laptop. I, it's okay. You can do a lot of things with your phone. Just do whatever you got to do. Get it done. Again, you're not launching the business. And I think that getting that push right now, you have that momentum, that, that uh, drive. Get it done two weeks after the end of the last session, a week and a half almost, um, is more than enough. So good luck. Any other questions about anything we've covered today? Tomorrow, um, for those who are going to attend, again, the session is going to be tomorrow at 8 o'clock. We're talking about Instagram. Now, with Instagram, obviously, I don't have the connectors to make sure I can share my screen. But uh, for those uh, that want to, you can do it directly here or we're going to build it out. I'm going to try to do it on the phone at the same time and also have a screen um, on my computer so that I show you. The most important thing about Instagram tomorrow is I'm going to show you how to write your bio what to put in there, and then you start using it the same way as Facebook. The best part about Instagram, because it's owned by Facebook, you don't need to do anything about the pixels. So it's going to be really about just covering a couple of uh, best practices that I always recommend uh, retailers or e-commerce businesses do on that platform. Samuel is saying, it was my first time here. I need to see the previous sessions. Yeah, everything is pre-recorded. And by the way, for those who are still here, um, I'm going to be downloading all of those videos and I'm going to put them into the academy. Um, so if you're the type of person that just doesn't like to go always on Facebook, you get distracted. As soon as we're done with the challenge, all those videos are going to be downloaded and uploaded inside the academy as a course with free access to you guys. So you'll have access to all the videos there, um, but outside of Facebook as well. So just in case. But the best part about this challenge is the fact that you're surrounding yourself with a lot of people. And we're almost at 150 people so far, very active group, which I'm very uh, happy and proud of. And I hope you guys are benefiting as well. I don't see any more questions. Perfect. Well, thanks again for attending today's session, day 18. I'll see you tomorrow for day 19 to talk about Instagram. Thank you and have an amazing rest of the evening. Take care. Bye-bye.